Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of CAD Lounge. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the mold tool in Archicad and I'm going to create a handrail that's uh, going in different directions, that is curved at a certain point, that is going at an incline. So first thing you want to create is a path. So you click on the mold tool and you use the straight line to continue um, down. So I created poles so that I could know my incline. I'm also going to click the arch tool so that I can get a bit of an, um, a curve, especially on places where I have some arches. That's the good thing about creating a path first before you do the mold is that you can follow it. So this is something simple. Um, in another video, I'll show you a more complex shape. But for now, this is something that you can use to just practice with. And make sure every time you reach a point, you click once. And then at the end, you click twice. So at this point, I've realized that I don't have a smooth straight line on the straight part of the staircase. So I'm going to click on the line tool. And... Uh, adjust those points those points will be important later on in the video that I'll show you so you just simply um, adjust so that you have a, a straight line even on the places where you will have a curve you still want it to be straight um, this will eventually help the person who's going to fabricate or if it's timber the carpenter who's going to build this handrail um, but also just for your 3d video so now I'm going to create my mold. I want it to have a bit of a bull nose uh, on all four corners. That's more like a curve. Then I'm going to um, use my space tab and just fill in that space. So I'm going to select only the items that I want to see in 3D, which is the staircase, um, the small poles, and then um, the mold that I that I've created. If you can't find the mold, just click mold and control A and you'll see it. Um, next thing I'm going to do is take it to the first point. I'm going to rotate it so that it goes in the direction that I want, which will just be 90 degrees. After that, I'm going to locate the middle point, both for the mold and the path that I've created. This is the important part. Every time you reach a point, make sure a circle is created for you to know that you're clicking the right part. After that, I'm going to click the third tab, which is really a, a tab that extracts. Now, at this point, we're going to move very slowly. So we're going to move along the path line. And every time I reach those points that I talked about earlier, I'm going to click once. Make sure that this thing is above the trace line and not below. I had to do this about three or four times before I got it right. So if the first time you do it, you find your thing under the line or going in different directions, just go back to the beginning, don't get stressed. So like I said, every time I reach a point, I wait for that circle to create and then I click once. And the good thing about the path is that if you're really like made it exactly the dimensions you want, then it will be an easier uh, thing to follow. So now we're about to reach the point where um, it starts to curve a bit. I think after this point, you have to make sure every time you click, you release your mouse. And like I say, just take your time. You don't want to rush this part. Now this is the part that we reach the curve and you also click like how you did with the path and you click on it and then you you adjust the curve to go with the path you had created so this will be easy down the road where you don't have to figure out the diameter or the, the, arc, the arc length because you already created it with the path so you just keep clicking and Clicking. And this will also help you make sure that you have the right um, height and everything so that when you later on go to cut your sections, you don't have things going at different points. So this 
is the last bit and then when you reach here you double click and release make sure when you double click you hold it in place because if you move it it will create some kind of a weird shape at the end so I'm going to change the material just to give you a change in um, color so that you see what I'm working with. I also changed the uh, balustrade posts just to make it more realistic. This is part of a, an existing project. So we worked on different types of balustrades. This actually wasn't the final one that we chose, but I thought I would show it to you as an example of what you can do to create whatever shapes you want uh, for like a grand staircase and things like that. So I'm selecting all just to show you. Eventually we went with a metal uh, thing, but when it was built, the balustrade was metal, but still they followed the profile. So thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Bye.